Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm uh, my excitement and giddiness are palpable. Um, so background: uh, uh, earlier this year, I um, took a intro to VLSI class, which is basically Chip Design 101, and um, we had a final project where we had to build a flip flop uh, using individual gates that we built um, on the uh, transistor level. Um, so we built that up and then we all combined it to a chip and we get sent the chip out and then it comes back um, and it just finally came back the other day. Um, the design process was long and arduous. Uh, I mean, I, I did um, a pretty decent amount of work. I had to do like the bonding diagram here to show, you know, how the actual chip die connects out to the, uh, the bonds for the DIP40 package that we got back out. And it wasn't just my flip-flop. Um, I had uh, three of my friends um, who were in the same class. So we combined our flip-flops together. So I had uh, mine is a D flip-flop, which I have the um, my pins up here. We have another D flip-flop. We have a T flip-flop and a um, JK flip-flop. And then we filled in like the rest of the pins with each of our own inverters that we built. So the inver inverters are on the corners here. Um, and of course, you know, ground, DVD, AVD. Um, so anyways, um, it finally came back. I think it's, it's working, it's great. Um, I'm babying it heavily because um, the feature size we're working at here is 600 nanometers, which um, for, for the uninitiated, that's about the feature size uh, that we were using back in the mid 90s. Um, for size of transistors, so 600 nanometers um, for the size of a transistor's width is the smallest we can go to for this size. Um, and I've looked around online because I'm still very much new to this uh, of like the proper operating voltage for these because um, um, I'm used to like the 74 HC series of logic which, op which operates at 5 volts, but I don't know their feature size. Um, people online have said for 600 nanometers you should be able to operate it at 5 volts. Um, and then I've got a couple of conflicting things by people, other say others saying that you can only operate it at 3.3 volts or 2 volts. Um, so I went ahead and just babied it and I'm running it off 2 volts right now. And each one of the inputs I put a resistor on it and like capacitors across the, the voltage rail just to smooth it out and a, a bleeder resistor and resistors on the inputs and outputs just to baby it because I really do not want to damage it. I mean, this is, uh, we got five, five of these chips, uh, five copies of the same thing. So this is one of them and you know, each, each person on my team, myself included, gets one and then we have one left over. Um, so. But uh, this one is the uh, one that I took some die shots of, which I'll uh, include later in the link in the description as well as maybe later in this video. Um, but uh, here, I'm gonna, just going to go ahead and demonstrate it. I've got my multimeter set up um, for uh, you. That, uh, there we go, that's better. I've got it set up to test uh, my inverter up here. So uh, pin 16 is uh, this yellow wire that's connecting to pin 16 for the inverter input and that's going through a resistor there and then a pull down resistor up there following this uh, this uh, alligator clip to just a switch just to test it and then it goes to back to 5 volts so I'm switching it on switching it from ground to 5 volts you know and then um, the output is pin 14, which is what this resistor and alligator clip are connected to, and that's connected to my multimeter. And right now it's not powered because I don't even have the power switch connected. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up and connect power so it's not drawing anything. But you can see on the output it's about um, 1.8 volts. Um, I don't know if that's just because my threshold voltage uh, for de designing these transistors was a little bit um, janky. Of course, I mean, this is my first uh, first chip, so, you know, errors are going to be made. But anyways, um, here's the switch. I'm going to go ahead and um, just, uh, so right now it's zero volts, so, you know, high on the output, and then switch on the input, so it, the input goes high, output goes low. 
Input goes low, output goes high. Yeah! It's, it's fantastic. Um, I don't really have the time to, uh, I, I've already tested these on my own. Um, the, the other, the other flip-flops and the uh, other inverters and they all work. Um, and I may uh, try taking off the training wheels and bump up the voltage a little bit. Um, I haven't even tested the load drive cap capability. Um, I don't think it can, uh, in simulation when I designed all this in cadence, uh, it was only able to do, I think like a couple of milliamps um, without uh, its uh, output uh, driver being brought, you know, to its knees. So I may or may not be able to like drive an LED output, which is why, you know, I'm using the multimeter and babying it with a bunch of resistors. Um, so I'll probably maybe show a video of uh, me testing out the D flip flops and other things at a later date. But this is just the first test and oh my god, I'm yeah. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see y'all later.